Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. We first watched as the old Wien United building was demolished, then wondered if a new amphitheater would really be built north of Youngstown's Market Street Bridge. They brought in dirt, replaced old water and sewer lines, and before long, the stage was set right along the Mahoning River. The Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater, as it will be called, is to open June 14th, and today, for the first time, the media was given a tour. Almost ready to go. It's our top story at 10. Eric Ryan, president of JAC Management, which will operate the amphitheater, introduced it this afternoon as something way more than he expected. And our vision was not this. This is absolutely amazing. We haven't just built an amphitheater, we've built a music center. As the sod was being laid for the lawn area that will seat 3,000 people, Ryan led a tour of media and selected guests. This is the beer garden over here. He walked over to the main entrance where eventually there will be big planters. This will all be uh, uh, pavers and cement going through. The group then made its way down a walkway to the stage where they could look back across the seats and grass and take in a view of downtown Youngstown few have ever seen until today. I've been here and driven around and looked at the mud holes, but this is the first time I've really walked it. Jan Strasfeld runs the Youngstown Foundation, after which the amphitheater is named. The foundation's $3 million donation helped make it possible. I can't wait to see it at night when it's filled with people and the lights are on and the music's blasting and we're all enjoying a fabulous evening. Mayor Tito Brown was asked how people will react the first time they see it. I think they're going to be like, they can't believe that they're in Youngstown, Ohio, and it's going to show, showcase that there are some great things going on in Youngstown, Ohio. It's about a 20-foot wide walkway with benches around it. The walkway, or promenade as Ryan called it, will be a park-like setting linking the amphitheater with the Cavelli Center. Now he needs to convince Axe to play here, and for that, he needs the community. We really need this community support as a whole to support the amphitheater, and if they do, it, it, it will help us in, in the years to come to do shows. Ryan thanked a number of organizations for making the project happen. Mayor Brown and Youngstown City Council, Brock Builders of North Lima, the general contractor, Home Savings and Loan, for its $50,000 a year to underwrite shows, and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC for sponsoring the VIP area.